What this is going to be is an attempt to show the odds and ends engine I built. Now, this was an engine designed originally by Philip Duclos. It's running through a clutch mechanism I've designed and ultimately to a sawmill I designed. Now I ran this this morning on a test drive and it runs the carriage back and forth but I haven't sawed a log yet. Right now the pawl which moves the carriage along is disengaged from this pawl wheel and the clutch is not engaged. So the first thing I'm going to do is engage the clutch and that will start the sawmill running but the carriage won't move yet. The clutch is engaged and the sawmill is moving and now I'm going to engage the driver that moves the carriage through the saw. Now, the saw is advancing into the log and it seems to be cutting without too much strain on the engine. It's the engine still going into hit and miss mode. I'm going to move the camera over here so you can see the saw advancing into the log. And of course, this is the engine doing the driving over here. I'm going to move over to the area where we can see the log coming out of the saw. And here we are, here is the saw wheeling up and down and the log is advancing through it, cutting the board off. When it gets to the end of the carriage travel, the board will come off and the carriage should stop automatically. So we'll just give it a chance to do that. We'll let the log finish sawing completely off. And once it's off, then we'll disengage the driving pawl for the carriage. And then we'll disengage the clutch. So we're almost through. We've got about an inch and a half of log left to cut. I slowed the carriage advance down a little bit because in the original way I had it set up it was, a it was uh, pushing the log through so hard it was stalling out the engine. But it seems to like this setting I have it on right at the moment. Okay, we're just about to lose that there. We sawed that board off and now it should come out and uh, It'll stop advancing on its own. At least I certainly hope it will. That's the plan. There. It stopped engaging. And I'm going to lift up the ball wheel and disengage it. And now I've disengaged the clutch. I know I'm moving around here a bit. So... We've done what I set out to do. We've saw the log with my sawmill my odds and ends engine and I'm very pleased with this clutch the way it works I'm going to turn the carriage back to the far end now this is the log you can see that we are the board we've cut off of the log we'll lay it down there I'm going to engage my clutch again seems to be working reasonably well. So thank you all for having a look. This has been a long time coming.